Connect the axon tube to the knee joint and then tuck the connection cable carefully into the axon tube. Make sure the axon cable is not pinched when you slide in the tube adapter. Slide in the axon tube up to the stop and then pull it back out by 15 mm. Hand tighten the screws gently. Now carry out a functional test by switching on the joint with the help of the battery charger. If the diode on the power supply unit lights up green continuously, the joint is fully charged. If the diode lights up yellow, as shown here, the joint is being charged. The knee joint performs a self-test after the charger is removed. Hold the joint still until a single beep and vibration signal confirms that the self-test has been successfully completed. Install the foot and calculate the difference compared to the desired length. Alternatively, you can also use the tube adapter configuration tool in the KSoft software. Switch the knee joint off by connecting the battery charger with the joint and removing it again three times. A falling tone sequence confirms the joint has been successfully switched off. Then disconnect the accent tube from the Kinevo and mark the calculated difference. Take note of the no-cut and cut areas before cutting the tube to length. The excess length of the tube is then trimmed using the tube cutter. And the inner and outer edges are deburred. Mark the 55 mm insertion length and reassemble the components. Finally, check the distance between the knee and the floor. <laughs>